Gotcha. All right, uh, we'll kick it off first with Sam McDowell. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, Brad, I've got a couple things. Um, Patrick, I asked Andy this, but early in the season, we were talking a lot about the, the shells that you guys were seeing, and, and I realized that there's other defenses you're seeing as well, but, but a lot of shell on last Sunday. Um, probably a few things here, but what do you attribute your guys' success to late in the season against that type of defense? Yeah, I mean, first off, just seeing it a lot, you kind of figure out answers and stuff that you can uh, can do to combat and have more success. And then um, I think just finding that, that happy median where you're taking shots still and uh, attacking, but at the same time hitting the guys underneath and, and guys are, are creating a lot of yards when they get the football in their hands, like the running backs, tight ends, and receivers. So uh, just getting the ball out of my hands, getting it to those guys and letting them make plays. And then um, I wondered how it came about that obviously you participated in the, uh, the the Madden documentary that was last week, and I just wonder if you could tell us how that came about. Yeah, I um, was I was shooting the the uh, for the the cover shoot uh, thing that we that I did with Tom, and they asked me to if I would want to participate, and I said a thousand percent. I mean, uh, the impact that, that John Madden made on not only the NFL but me and a, a lot of the players here uh, in this in this league um, is tremendous and I wanted to show my respect because uh, I mean such a such a a great person and a, a great leader in the game of football let's go next to Adam Teicher go down hey Patrick um Byron Pringle was saying after the game that you were kind of in his ear and maybe some of the other guys last week hey this could be your big opportunity if, if Kelsey and, and uh, Ty Tyreek don't play so now that those guys are back what, what's your message to those other receivers this week um now that everybody's back yeah, I think I think the guys know that. I mean, any any game could be anybody's week. Um, obviously, we have Tyreek and Trav, and they get a bulk of the the, the workload kind of throughout the week and stuff like that. But guys step up and make plays every single week that uh, change the change the outcome of the football game, and they know that, and they they come in with that mentality at practice. And so uh, I just tell them to keep doing what they've been doing, keep having great practices, stacking great days, and uh, when their numbers called, be ready. Next to Harold Coons. Go ahead, Harold. Patrick, how are you doing? Two questions for you. One, just your initial impressions on Joe Burrow as you're about to face him. I know you're not facing him defensively, but uh, just your initial impressions on because you said after the game, I think he threw for a thousand yards in the game. And then also, I want to ask you about just Madden in the video game, you know, for your generation, you know, kind of what that meant to you, how much you learned about the game of football from playing that game and then to meet the guy, or not sorry, to play the game and then to know all about John Madden, what that meant to you. Yeah, the, I mean, there, to your first question with Joe, I mean, uh, not only is he a great football player, I think he's a great leader. Um, he has that special knack where you can he can lead anybody, and no matter where he's at, he, he can go out there with that that swag, that mentality of of I'm going to win no matter what. Um, and it takes it takes a, a lot of experience, and it takes a lot of just going out there and doing it for people to believe that. And so he has that as lo as well as the physical talent to go out there and, and make a lot of stuff happen. Um, and then with as far as John Madden, I mean obviously made a huge impact for me. I mean, uh, playing the video game, kind of learning football by playing that video game growing up. Um, uh, a lot of memories from when my dad was beating me when he had Randy Moss and the Vikings um, and, and making me cry in the, the back game room and stuff like that. Um, but uh, to, to get the, to meet him and hear and uh, talk with him with coach Reed. Um, and he was still watching film to the, I mean, until to his, his final days. I mean, he was he was still watching our film, uh, getting a, a feel for what we're doing and giving insight. And I mean, that's just the type of guy that he is. is he truly loved the game of football and loved the people uh, that the NFL uh, had really uh, that were in the NFL. And uh, I mean, he's truly a special person. Let's go next to Vahe. Go ahead, Vahe. Hey, Patrick, I, I, this is probably hard to answer in some ways, but if you were trying to tell a friend how you guys went from three and four to winning eight in a row, what, what are the first things that come to mind besides just grinding? Yeah, I think it was just staying with the process. I mean, that, that was the biggest thing. I mean, no one held their head down. Uh, we knew that there was a lot of season left and we, everything that we wanted was out in front of us. Um, and so uh, but guys came in with the right mentality every single day to get better. Um, and, and we're sitting where we're at now, but the job's not finished. I mean, we still have, to try to find a way to get this number one seed and playing two great football teams these next two weeks um, and then try to make a, a run in the playoffs. So we understand that it's not done yet. Uh, it, it's been great these last few weeks, but we still have a long ways to go. We've got two more. We'll go James and then Pete. Go ahead, James. Hey, hey Patrick, with that said, I'm kind of curious where this patience comes from that you have because you kept telling us throughout the weeks that you were just going to go through the process and you guys were going to stick with it and wanted to play the best football by the end of the year. 
And it seems like that corner has been a bit turned. Where do you ha- have, do you have this patience in all aspects of your life? You're a new dad. Do you have it, you know, do you have it there? Where, where does this patience come from to stick with something? Yeah, I think it just comes with maturity and experiences. Um, if I was younger, a little bit younger in my career, uh, I might've been trying to force the issue and try to make a lot of big plays happen. Um, but uh, just from learning from those experiences, when I've been trying to press too much or whatever it is, I- I've learned that just trusting my teammates, trusting the coaching staff, uh, the plays that are getting called, uh, get the ball in my hands and let, let guys make plays. At the end of the day, it's all about winning. And um, I thought we've done a great job of that these last few weeks of just finding ways to win football games. Uh, if it's offense, defense, special teams, whatever it is. And uh, I think that's what you need uh, when, whenever you have a great football team. Um, and we'll try to keep that thing rolling. We'll go last to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Hey, Patrick, my question is on uh, Travis Kelsey. You haven't played a, a lot of ball uh, without Kelsey and you had to do so last week. What was that experience like? And then if you could just describe um, how his mood was finally being able to get back to the room and, and get back to work. Yeah, I mean, he was excited. Uh, he was he was annoyed that he couldn't get, he couldn't be back in the building. I mean, even um, the day after we, when we came back and we really have an off day, but the guys come in to watch film and he couldn't be in the building. He was he was still annoyed about it. I mean, he uh, he loves he loves this game and uh, he loves being out there with the guys and being able to play. So it, it crushed him not being able to play with us. Um, but, um, I mean, I thought the guys stepped up. I thought the tight ends did a great job blocking and catching the football. I thought guys like Pringle, McColl, uh, Tyreek even got out there. And I mean, you, he was just off the COVID list. So he was exhausted out there just trying to do what he could to contribute. I mean, it was, it was a, a total team effort. Our offensive line did a great job giving me time in the pocket. Um, and, uh, we went out there and found a way to get a win. And that, that's all, that's all that matters at the end of the day. Patrick, we appreciate the time. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.